Ever been to the Derby? I have not been to the Derby. We need to do that. A little family getaway. A get <laughs> little family getaway some year. <laughs> Let's We're, do it. Yeah, what are we looking for race week in there? I feel like it always rains Derby Day. Right. As long as it's okay for Sunday for our, well, you know what? The Flying Pigs all weekend. So, yeah, what about all these and races? And we got to find somebody. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before we plan a trip to Louisville, <laughs> we need to make sure that we have someone's money to play with, too. <laughs> I thought Mike was offering up since he said a family trip. <laughs> yeah, he did say the trip, didn't he? I'm so with I, that. I'll pick the races and you just lay it down. How about that? <laughs> I like like the old saying, he who suggests pays for everything. But I don't know. I'm just talking. Uh, this weekend, <laughs> the Flying Pig, that's what everyone wants to know. How's the weather going to react for the Flying Pig this weekend? And, well, you know what? Right now, while we do have a rain threat that's kind of looming, I think we're going to get the events in just fine. Just know that I don't think it's a rain-free weekend either. So here's the setup at the moment. We've had this chilly northwesterly flow of air, right? We've had this big storm that's been parked on our doorstep just to the east for about the better part of the past, what, three or four days now. That system is finally slowly starting to drift away from us. And as it loses its impact on our area, well, skies are beginning to clear. Hence the reason why we've got all that sunshine outside now here late on this Wednesday afternoon. However, temperatures are still chilly. So as skies clear, that means temperatures will fall fast once the sun goes down. So expect a chilly night tonight with in all likelihood some patchy frost out there. And then your Thursday should be beautiful. We should have a decent amount of sunshine, partly cloudy skies. After a chilly start, temperatures will finally get closer to where they should be for this time of the year. We'll make a run into the upper 60s tomorrow. And then on Friday late, we'll begin to introduce the chance for some showers as our weather pattern transitions back to something that looks more spring-like for us. So I'm going to leave the impact from wet weather medium on Friday, although most of your Friday looks dry. There's certainly the chance that some showers could begin to move in towards the 50 mile west race time. So around seven or so and into the night. Saturday looks OK. Most of Sunday looks dry. I think it's dry for the big race on Sunday. But by Sunday afternoon and evening, we might have to start watching out for some thunderstorms. It's 56 outside or right now. Look at that dew point into the upper 30. So once skies clear tonight and winds go light, temperatures should easily get down into the 30s overnight. It's 61 now in Hyde Park, 59 in Dale High, 58 currently in Sharonville and Mount Healthy. The good news is that temperatures will stay between 55 and 60 through about 8. Then once the sun goes down, look at those numbers. They go right down into the upper 30s by morning. Here's Futurecast. Again, mostly clear skies tonight, partly cloudy skies tomorrow around the area. Should be a nice one, though. And then again, your Friday starts dry, but we'll need to watch the timing of any rain Friday afternoon and evening. So chilly tonight, patchy frost out there, 38 for a low. Milder tomorrow should be a nice one, 67 for your afternoon high. It'll be the first time all week we've been even closer to where we should be heading into early May. Here's your seven day forecast. I'm going to leave Friday as a weather impact day. Saturday, looking at temperatures around 70. And again, on Sunday for the big race, I think we're good in the morning, but it will turn steamy, a sweaty pig by afternoon as temperatures climb close to 80 and potentially the threat for storms starting Sunday afternoon and evening. I love how you guys keep saying sweaty pig. It's I a stinky pig. <laughs> it's going to be sweaty and, yeah. you know, all, all that right. kind of stuff. Okay.